Hey guys, are you ready for the ultimate whole house clean, declutter, and organize with me? I'm going to be cleaning my whole house over three days, showing you the real life messes that we live with on a daily basis, getting down and cleaning those dirty messes, decluttering and organizing my refrigerator and pantry, sharing with you what I eat in a day and giving back to say thank you. So let's get ready and let's do this together. Hello to all of my wonderful friends. You are not just YouTube friends, you are truly friends. You guys make me smile, you make me laugh, you uplift me, so you are truly a friend. And I know this is a little repetitive, but thank you for being here. Thank you for carving time out of your busy life for my videos. It may be repetitive, but I will always continue to say it because your time is valuable and I appreciate you being here. So today I'm going to be cleaning my whole house. So it's a pretty long video. I went to Costco, so I had to organize and clean up my refrigerator and the pantry. I'm going to share with you something that I eat for lunch and dinner and also giving away a cordless vacuum. And I will have all of those details in this video. So stay tuned. So this will be three days of cleaning and I started out by getting some laundry going. I'm going to talk about what helps motivate me when I don't want to be productive because this was a day I was not feeling it. Um, but there were messes all over that you can obviously see. I had some trail mix that had been spilled and left on the table. And to be honest with you guys, there are times where I am so tempted and I almost want to do a little bit of cleaning before I put my messes out on the internet for you guys to see because it's embarrassing at times. It's like, do I live in a barn? Do I live with animals? But I always think of that quote that someone sent to me that said, the mess you work so hard to hide may be just what someone else needs to see today to know they aren't alone. My husband is not lazy. He does not just leave his messes around. My kids are not lazy. Avery helps clean up a lot. Mike does a lot as the twins help clean up now, we are all just trying our best. And this is just what life is like right now. This is not every day. This is a lot of our days. It's not every day, but it's just what life is like right now. So hopefully when you see these messes, if you have the same mess at home, you feel a little bit better. If you don't have these messes, I'm a little bit jealous, but I just tell myself this is life right now. One day I won't have these messes, but until then we're just trying our best. Our dishwasher recently broke and we had to order a new part. We were waiting for that. So I needed to hand wash all of the dishes, which is not fun. Um, and like I said, I was not really feeling feeling it today. I, I didn't sleep well the night before and I was just not feeling it. I was not feeling motivated. But what motivates me to get going is I try to light a candle. I put on some 90s pop music or 2000s pop music, light a candle, get your diffuser going, 
put on some music for your high school days, your college days, middle school days, just like some old school tunes. Those are just a few simple things that really gets me up and moving. Something else that helps is I like to get laundry going. When I can hear the washer going, it immediately immediately make, makes me feel like okay we got things going we're moving things are getting done and it it motivates me um and just i think that even it's also comparable if you think about working out like you never want to work out but once you get dressed and just get moving a little bit then you feel good and then you feel even better when you're done so those are just some of the tips that i use when i'm not feeling it Kind of wanted to give you guys some, like an update, something new that's going on. Um, another reason why, why I was trying, or I guess really forcing myself to be productive this morning is because recently we put the twins in school for just a few hours, two days a week. The twins turned one in March of 2020. So think of what life was like for everyone in March of 2020. Um, the first year, you know, that they were born, you know, they were preemie babies. They were born seven weeks early, so we didn't leave the house a lot. I mean, they were they were very small. It's also just not easy to leave the house with twin infants and then at the time a four-year-old. So it just wasn't easy. So we stayed home a lot the first year, as you do with twin newborns, and then they turned one in the middle of a pandemic. So since then, they have been at home with Mike and I. I worked at home because I worked outside of the home up until last summer with my full-time job and then Mike has been working at home since last March. So we realized recently they they've just they're really 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 shy, very clingy. Um they have been behind in speech and a lot of other delays. You know, all of our friends have kids, but they're older. They're Avery's age. None of our friends have kids their age. We don't really have any family members with kids that close by with kids their age they're never around kids their own age never so there's this program that we could send them to it's just for a few hours two days a week in the morning and you guys it has been the best decision we ever made I remember being nervous Mike and I talking about it we're like no why would we send them when we can keep them at home with us I felt guilty Mike felt guilty sending them but you guys they have completely changed their speech has just blown up verbally like I, I I'm just blown away by the words that they say now they are completely different in so many positive ways that I wish we would have done it earlier and I'll talk more about the positives that we saw here later on so I'm not rambling it's just been a little bit hard to not have them at home but just two days a week just for a few hours in the morning they're at school and they love it so I was trying to utilize those few hours this morning while they were gone I originally planned on sharing a Costco, Costco haul with you, like everything that I bought in this video, be, 
but it was the week that I wanted to clean my whole house and I needed to clean my whole house. So this video is around 40 minutes long. So I, there's no way that I was going to add the Costco haul to grocery haul to this. So I will add it into next week's video just because I like seeing Costco hauls. So I will add that in next week's video. So stay tuned for that one but I was just organizing the refrigerated stuff and then stuff in the pantry we also got a lot of freezer stuff it was a pretty big haul because we hadn't been there in a while so next week's video I will share that So jumping back to what I was using to clean the refrigerator, I was using the Dawn Power Wash spray. Typically, I like using the Aunt Fanny's Cleaning Vinegar Spray, but I was really low on it. I did use it to clean out the organizational, the little like bins in the fridge, um, but I need to pl place another order with Grove. So I was using the Dawn Power Wash, which does an amazing job. It just can get a little foamy, so you have to be careful with how much you spray, um, but it does a good job getting all the sticky stuff up. I was using that, and then the Aunt Fanny's Cleaning Vinegar Spray. I've had a lot of you guys request that I show you what I eat in a day. So this is something that I was um, eating for lunch this particular day. I have been loving it. I've been eating it almost like every day for lunch. It is riced cauliflower. I just get a bag of the frozen stuff and then I added in shredded chicken, which I had already made up another day in the crock pot. You just season it with taco seasoning and chicken broth. And then I usually make a big batch of that and then we keep it in the freezer for you know salads and tacos quick and easy. Um, then I also added in um, shredded cheese, pico de gallo, avocado, cilantro, and lime. And it's just, it's good. It's filling. Um, but I've been eating it pretty much every day for lunch. And I'm also going to be making um, chili in the crock pot. It's a low carb chili. A lot of you guys say you want more low car carb meals. I'm gonna go get the girls, it's time to go grab them. Um, I have my Norwal vacuum going, so it's gonna vacuum in the kitchen. And then when the girls go down for their nap, I'm gonna vacuum myself, just cause I haven't vacuumed myself in the living room, and then finish up some laundry. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. If you're curious what I put in my O Cedar Spin Mop bucket, I put in one teaspoon, that's it, one teaspoon of powdered Tide laundry detergent and filled up the bucket. So now it's time for the fun part, the giveaway for the Tinco Power Hero 11 vacuum. This is to say thank you for being here and just being a part of this community. It's gonna be super easy on how to enter. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, have the bell notifications turned on. There's a little bell right next to the subscribe button that you can turn on and then answer this question that I'm going to ask you. So I like creating a positive community here. And last week when I did the giveaway, I had asked, what's something that you love about yourself? And I was shocked by how many of you guys struggled to find something that you love about yourself. So I want to continue this positive community. And I, I want to focus on the positive because I know as a human, it's easier to focus on the negative. So let's keep this going. What is something you are grateful for? 
in your life? What is something you are grateful for in your life? It could be something small. You could be grateful that you have Netflix and you get to watch your favorite shows on Netflix. It could be something bigger. You're grateful you're a mom. You're grateful for your job. Let me know what you are grateful for. So again, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, have the bell notifications turned on and let me know what you're grateful for. I will get way more comments than I normally do because it's a giveaway. So just to let you guys know, I will not be responding to your comments like I normally do. So I'm so sorry. You know, that's important to me. Um, I will, not, I will be reading all of them. I promise reading them. I will not respond to them. I will like or heart as many as I can, but just know then I am reading them. And even if I don't hurt them, you're still entered if you answer the question. Um, I have a ram random comment generator that randomly takes every single comment from the video and then picks a winner. So even if I don't heart it, you are still entered. And then I can see if that person that it picked properly answered the question and then I will contact you and then you can prove to me that you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on with the screenshot. This is open internationally and it will end on October 8th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you check your YouTube notifications because when I pick a winner, I will message them on YouTube like, or I'll respond to their comment so we can arrange that you can get your prize. Um, you'll have 24 hours to respond, so good luck, and all of the details will be in the description. This is the Crock-Pot Chili. Like I said, it's a low-carb Crock-Pot crock Chili. I've talked about this on my channel, but I have PCOS, so I don't follow a low-carb diet for like weight loss purposes or anything. Um, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, I'm not going to go too much into it, but my body is better, reacts better when I eat lower carb. Um, so... When I've shared this before on my channel, I get a lot of you guys who say, hey, I have diabetes, I have PCOS, and I was told I need to eat lower carb, so share more low carb options. I love chili. It's a staple for me in the fall and the winter. I've never made a lower carb chili, so I thought I would give it a go. I still eat regular chili with beans because I love beans and I just love a good chili, but I thought this was a pretty good low carb option um, if you want to go that route. And it's also super, super easy. You know, for me, I keep it easy. I will have the recipe for this in the um, the video's description. It did call for two pounds of ground beef. Um, I did one pound of ground turkey and then one pound of ground beef. I'm just personally not a big fan of red meat. Um, like I would always prefer chicken or turkey over red meat. But I I know that you know I like to get the iron red meat. Um, in there sometimes like it's it's good to eat more of a variety of meats you know and since i don't eat a lot of red meat i threw it in there um but yeah and then avery was going to help me clean up the basement Avery was down here with um, some of her friends and when I came down here, like I think yesterday, I noticed there was popcorn all over the floor and I was like, oh no, 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 no. I know kids are going to be messy, but she's old enough to not let 
popcorn be all on the floor. So um, I made her not only help me clean up, but also made her vacuum up that uh, popcorn. And then I was going to go in and vacuum the rest of the basement and then mop with my new Tinco wet dry vacuum and mop. So just kind of talking more about the twins being in school um, in the morning, two days a week, I am just blown away by the advancements I've seen in them socially and verbally. You know, of course, I teach them things. I read, we read to them. We, we, you know, we count, we do our ABCs, but they have picked up so much more at school. It's just like mentally they have exploded socially. They're like little social butterflies. They're not attached to our hip. Like if we go to friends and family's houses and it's just been a few weeks. It's amazing to me. I know that every kid is different. Um, when Avery was their age, I was working full time outside of the home and, you know, she stayed at home with my mother-in-law. So it was kind of the same situation. I mean, she was, my mother-in-law would come to our house. So she was at home just with my mother-in-law by herself, um, not exposed to a lot of other kids. Um, but I never felt that they, she needed it. Like, the twins are different. Every kid is so different in what they need. Um, like if it was Avery, if the twins were like Avery was, I, I wouldn't have put them, you know, in school. Um, but I could tell the twins needed it. And then something else with it being them being twins, I've noticed that they really gravitate towards each other. And I just, when they go to school, preschool or kindergarten, I don't want them, you know, because they've just been together constantly and not around a lot of other kids. I don't want them just to be you know, attached to each other. Um, so I don't know. This is just one of the best decisions. We were so hesitant, but one of the best decisions we, we've we ever made and they're just thriving. Um, and it also is good for us because it cuts the cord a little bit from, you know, Mike and I. Uh, but this is the Tinko wet dry vacuum that I was talking about and it vacuum and mops at the same time. And I will have it linked in the description. time then you know that I have a fear of spiders what well, looks like I vacuum and mopped up a spider and it is floating in the water <sighs> This is how terrified I am of spiders. I can't even look at that right now. Like I can't look at it. Like it creeps me out and the spider is dead. The spider cannot hurt me. I know this, but that's how bad my fear is. I can't even look at it right now. <sighs> oh, like I like feel the spider all over me. What are you gonna help mommy do? Good job, Addison. Good job, girls. Here, girls, can you get the dirty clothes? Where do we put our dirty clothes? Um, this one. 
Yep. This one. Where do we put our dirty clothes? This one. That one. Good job, Emery. What about you, Miss Addison? Whoa. Good job, girls. Give me, give mommy high five. High five. High five. Yeah. Good job. I'll cover you up. Kena night girl. Love you. I'm able to clean up here while they're napping. Can you hear that sound machine? It pretty much drowns out everything, including the dogs barking. So here I was trying to tackle our bathroom and I had to clean the shower and I hate cleaning our shower. You guys know that. I don't clean it very often because I don't like cleaning it. Um, but it was a week that I was planning on cleaning the shower. So I was cleaning our master bathroom, cleaning the girls' bathroom, office, vacuuming in Avery's room. She had cleaned that up the night before. So I just had to vacuum and then our bedroom. But I am using the Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner to clean our bathroom and then the Jaws glass and mirror cleaner to clean the mirrors. And I was going to use the foaming bathroom cleaner on the tub and the vanity. You guys know I love the Jaws cleaning products. If you guys ever have questions, feel free to message me on Instagram about them. I like talking about them, but I also don't want to be repetitive if you know what Jaws what they're about but you just reuse the bottles and then you can just pop you just purchase the pods and you just pop in the pods i have a 25 percent off code and i know it's annoying when i say i'm not sponsored but and it's also not an affiliate link i just i don't make anything from the link they do sponsor me every now and again which is wonderful and i'm grateful for but i just stand behind their products because i enjoy them i think they're really good and um you have a 25% off code. Um, I, you can also get them on Amazon, but then you can't use my code. But it just it's just another option if you go that route. Um, I mean, the 25% off coupon code makes a huge difference. So I will have the link and the code in the video's description. And I also want to tell you... Um, oh, hang on. I'll tell you something about the video's description. But I'm using the Clorox Toilet Wand to clean the toilet. I get a lot of questions about this. And you just... You buy the wand one-time purchase and then you re... Or, then you purchase the little pop-ons and that has the cleaner on it the little pod at the top or the little thing that pops on I don't know what it's called um that's the only thing that actually touches the toilet and then you throw it away so um it's not as gross I guess but something I noticed with the video's description it's not as easy to find it now I get so many people are like you said it was a link in the description but I don't see it so there's a little down arrow to the right that you have to click on to expand the video's description. So the whole video's description is there, it's just not as easy to find. I 
think one of the main reasons why I hate cleaning the shower, it's just so hard to bend over. And I know I probably sound ridiculous saying that because I know there's a lot of other people that have a harder time bending over and moving, but it just, it's small. Um, like I'm like contorting my body in different ways to really clean it. And then not to mention the tracking of the doors is a pain. Um, I've had you guys say, well, maybe you can remove the doors and put, um, a curtain up and I have removed the doors to clean them before and then I've tried adding a curtain and water gets all over so it's really not an option but I'm crossing my fingers that when we find our new house um, when we find a new house that we have maybe like a I don't know a shower that's easier to bend over in or at the very least you know like better doors so you don't have to get all this gross stuff in the the tracking I'll go ahead and have my Instagram handle right here. You guys can come over and find me over there. That way, if you have like, questions and I don't get to them here in the comment section, I try my best to answer all of your comments. But, you know, I'm one person. I can't get to it all. But I will have my Instagram. You can come send me a DM over there. It's a fun way to chat and you guys to kind of connect with me on, in a different way. So... And then I was using my Shark Steam Up. I know, I know. There's so many cleaning tools and appliances, but I do love the Steam Up. You know, like it's okay to like multiple mops. Um, like I think the Steam Up is the absolute best for the, the tile. I mean, I like it on other surfaces, but like for my hardwood, I like the O Cedar mop better. Steam Up, I just love the way it cleans the tiles, and I just love the way it feels when I'm done mopping. I was just quickly picking up our bedroom and then I was going to pop in the office just to kind of clean it up and then vacuum and I'm using the shark vacuum up here I don't love vacuuming with a vacuum that has a cord I think if you're used to a vacuum that is cordless you get used to it and a cord is kind of a pain um, but I will say that this shark apex uplight vacuum 
with a cord has more suction power and is more powerful than my cordless vacuum so not you know not every cordless vacuum so from time to time i like to make sure i go in into all of our rooms and use this one I know you're probably wondering where Mike is. So even though we have this office space, he has a little desk um, and he doesn't really sit in here all day long. He, he can't sit in one room all day long. So sometimes he needs to, um, he needs two screens. He has a laptop and then he has like the big desktop screen. He works with a lot of numbers and Excel, Excel spreadsheets where sometimes he needs two. Or if he has a, a meeting, like a Zoom meeting, he will take it in here. But if he doesn't need two screens, he likes floating around the house. Sometimes he's in our bedroom. Sometimes he sits on the couch and watches TV. Sometimes he goes in the basement, just kind of like works around that, works around the kids as well. So it's not uncommon for him to be, you know, in the basement or in our living room or our bedroom on the bed. So he just floats around the house. Um, I'm, I'm sure that's pretty normal if you work from home. You know, sometimes you can't just sit in one space all day long. Um, but yeah, so he kind of floats around. So here really quickly I was wiping down the girls bathroom with some Clorox wipes. I mean I was literally just grabbing the wipes, wiping down the vanity and the tub, just super quick wipe down. Um, but then that was going to pretty much wrap it up. But don't forget to enter the giveaway. Just make sure you're subscribed. You have the bell notifications turned on and let me know what you're grateful for. Good luck and make sure you check your YouTube notifications so you don't miss out if you win.
<laughs> but I gotta end this really quickly because Mike's making dinner. I'm taking Avery to volleyball and Mike stays home with the girls, the twins. So I gotta get going, but Paul, oh, thank you guys for sticking around and hanging out with me. I hope I gave you plenty of cleaning motivation. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I wanna take you where you've never been So I won't break your heart